Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do face swapping with no Photoshop, no nonsense. This is now available inside Mid-Journey and it is amazing. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. You'll notice here up at the top right, I'm in my own Discord server and I've got two bots in my server. I've got the Mid-Journey bot, which is standard, and I've got the Insight Face Swap, which is the new one, which is also free. It's open source and I'm going to show you how to add those. But before I do that, let me show you a few examples here. So I've got some pictures here. I've got Elon, I've got Lionel Messi, I've got Ronaldo, I've got Taylor Swift, etc. Look at this. Here's the original shot. Here it is with Elon Musk's face in it. Again, this is done inside Midjourney. That's a good one. This one's even better. Look at these. These are two images of these steampunk and cyberpunky type diesel punk girls. And then look at this. Taylor Swift. That's as, that's as good as it gets. This is practically perfect. These are all done again inside. And then the last ones I'll show you is I've got some messy style ones where Messi kind of gets his diesel punk steampunk on. And then Ronaldo. That's not quite as good as these other two. This one's very good. He looks pretty dapper in that one. And then bang, he looks some sort of like diesel punk card dealer. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get in. All right, so the first step is you need to create your own server and have the Midjourney bot join it. You need to have both bots in it. There's a very good chance that you've already done this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a few quick seconds, and then we'll quickly move into this face swap start. So here we go. All you need to do, go to the left side of Discord, click on add a server, and then I'm gonna click on create my own server. It's for me and my friends. I'm gonna call it face, I'm gonna call it face swapper, face swapper, Ronaldo, Messi, Elon, something like that. Just some big, huge name so I don't mess them up. And then I'm going to click on create. When I do that, you're going to see here on the left side here that my latest one is here. This is my Discord server. I'm going to click on it. There's nothing in it at the moment. The next step is we have to invite the Midjourney bot. The Midjourney bot is easy to do. Go to your left side here and then you'll see the sailboat. This is the Midjourney one. Just click on this, click on the sailboat. And then you're going to see here on the left side, or pardon me, on the right side, it says Midjourney Bot. All you got to do is right click on that, or pardon me, left click on that. I got to be clear. You left click on it and then add to server. Click on add to server, and then you get to select a server. I'm going to select the one I just made, which was that big, huge, long name, Face Swapper, Ronaldo, Messi, Elon. Click continue. Click authorize. Click on I am human. And it might even give you a CAPTCHA, but it did not. So we are clear. Now, let's go back to the face swapper, the new one that we made. You'll see here, up at the top right, Midjourney Bot has been added. All right, a wild Midjourney Bot has been added. Good stuff. Now, the other one is you need this link here. I'm just going to copy it, and I'm going to put this in the description because when you click on it, it goes directly there. So I'm going to copy and paste that in here and hit enter. And what it is is just the authorization for the uh, Insight Face Swapper bot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to left click on this link. Again, this link is in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it and off you go. I'm going to select a server. I'm going to use that big long name I made, Face Swapper, Ronaldo, Messi, Elon. Click Enter. Click Authorize. Click I am human. Beep, boop, beep, boop, and off we go. Now we're going to have this Authorize. We now have both bots inside the Discord server. Now, let's get to business. All right, rock and roll, let's go. So the first step here is I'm gonna go forward slash save ID. This is a new command you get when you add the Insight Face Swap bot to your Discord server. I'm gonna hit enter, and then you'll see it gives us two things. It gives us the ability to drag and drop an image in, and we can also give it an ID name. So let's go with the image part first. I'm gonna go to my finder, and then for this one, let's work with Taylor Swift, why not? I'm going to drag and drop Taylor Swift's into the image box here. And then I'm going to name this. So I'm going to call this one Taylor Swift. Oh, let's do it all. I'm going to do it with the first letter capitalized. Every other letter is lowercase. Capitalization seems to matter in this case. So I'm going to hit enter and watch this. Invalid name. Oops, must be alphabet. Okay, let's try that again. Save ID, hit enter. And then I'm going to go drag and drop this in, and I apologize for that. Taylor S. You can only go up to, uh, I guess, seven characters. So I'm going to hit enter. And presto. Taylor's ID name, Taylor S. created, or Taylor's, is created. 
Beautiful. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to swap in faces. One is the fast and easy way, and then the other one is where you can have multiple faces and you can have a whole lot of fun. So please, I'd recommend watching them both. Let's go with the easy one first. First step, I'm going to go imagine, and then I'm going to get, I'm going to create four images. I'm just going to create a regular one. So I'm going to go uh, steampunk, female, uh, close up shot, portrait. Um, looking at camera. The reason why I did that is because I you generally want the uh, subject to be looking forward. It's easier to do a face swap than when they're on an angle or if they're on a side profile, for example. So I'm going to run this when it's done. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to show you the first way to swap in an image. All right, welcome back. So it's done a very good job. Here are the four images of the candidates that it's given us. And I like all of them, although I'm going to use the second, third, and fourth one because the first one has some hair in front of the face. So whatever. I'm going to go ahead and upscale two. I'm going to upscale three. And I'm going to upscale four. Now, upscaling works pretty quickly. And here we go. There's our first one, our second, and our third one. So how do we go ahead and turn this lady into Taylor Swift? Here is the first of two ways. The first way is you want to right click on the image go to apps so you right click go to apps go across and you'll see something called in swapper in swapper does it automatically bang we've got taylor swift it was that fast and that easy and it did a an incredible job that is a fantastic image let's go ahead and click on this one so i'm going to right click on her face and then i'm going to go to apps and i'm going to in swap her and that sounded rough, but I guess I can get away with that. And then I'm going to right click on her face. I'm going to go to apps and then I'm going to in swap her. Now look at these images. Taylor Swift, that looks exactly like the image we dropped in there. Look at, like, this is incredible, guys. Like, I'm, I don't get, you know, I don't know. Mid Journey and AI in general absolutely blows me away every day I turn on and I turn it on and use this stuff. Amazing. So that is the first way. Now I'm going to show you a more complicated way, but you can swap in multiple different characters. Let's get going. All right, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you the save ID so that you can create IDs that you can use interchangeably. Watch this. So now I'm going to go forward slash save ID and you'll see here that I can now drag and drop an image in. So we've done Taylor Swift. Now let's go ahead with Let's go with Lino Messi. I've got a great picture of Lino Messi looking right at the camera. I'm going to drag and drop that in there. Now it says ID name. I'm going to say M-E-S-S-I, all capitalized. Why not? And then I'm going to hit enter. Watch this. ID name Messi created. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Save ID. And I'm going to do one for Ronaldo while I got you. So let's go ahead and grab this one here. Drag and drop that in. And then this one's going to be Ronaldo. Hit enter. ID name Ronaldo updated. So now we've got multiple ID names. So let's go ahead now and let's run let's run some male images. Have we run any male ones yet? No. So I'm gonna go forward slash imagine and then I'm gonna go male steam. I'm gonna let's go diesel punk. Why not? Right? Let's do something different. Diesel punk looking at camera portrait up close shot enter. Something like that. Let's do that. We're going to get four images, and then I'm going to show you how to do the final step. All right, everybody. So I ran that prompt twice, and I got some pretty good-looking images. I'm going to show you now how to do using swap ID. So let's look at the first couple candidates. Okay, so I like the second one. I like, yeah, they're all quite good. The top the top one and the, top, and the second one we'll use from that batch. And then if I click on this batch, they're all quite good as well. Uh, let's go with the second, third, and maybe even the fourth. They're all very good. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just upsample them. And then it upsamples very quickly. So what you need to do now is you need to right click on the image. Or pardon me, you need to click on the image and then I'm going to save the image. And I'm just going to call this one 1 and I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. So I'm just going to go ahead and use 1. I'm going to save this image. So let's see if I can click on it and right click save image and I'm going to call that one 2. Put it on my desktop and I'm just going to do a couple of them so I don't waste your time. And you'll also notice here that you can right click and save image as well and even saves you a click. So either way uh, is good. So we've got those three. Now, here we go. I'm going to go to my desktop, go to my finder, and then here we go. I'm going to go and you got to actually drag and drop them back in because uh, this is a little different. And then actually, you know what? You don't have to do that. Watch this. Go forward slash. I don't want to make this any more complicated than it needs to be. Forward slash swap ID. 
now we drop it in so it says here id name and drag and drop image so i'm going to go ahead drag and drop the first image in and then id name ronaldo but it was all capital so i'm going to go ronaldo and then watch this while it does that look at that i mean look holy smokes that is amazing wow okay ronaldo they crushed it with ronaldo let's do it again forward slash swap id enter and then we're going to use the same image drag and drop it here and then this one is messy hit enter let's see what we get another amazing image this is how you do it now if you have your own images you don't have to use mid-journey images if you have some of your own images for example if i went to my pictures and i went to something like this i could bring in an image of angelina jolie i could just uh, actually i'll hold off i'm gonna go forward slash swap id and then let's go ahead and drag in angelina as an example and then i can type in ronaldo and let's see what angelina jolie as ronaldo looks like uh let's see oh it's 2023 that's not bad that's not bad at all this is how you use swapping id insight face making amazing id swap id images using mid journey thanks for watching